Hello Scorpio, it's me G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. Scorpio, I am doing your overall career, life, and love focus for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your overall energy. Scorpio, your energy is very pleasant today, okay? It's very pleasant. This seems like there's a lot to celebrate this season, whether this is engagement, whether this is the rekindling of some type of relationship, whether you guys are working something now, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations, focusing on family, vacations. I see a lot of you even trying to, or will be focused on increasing your spirituality as well, okay? Because I see the goddess of the moon, I see a temple path, I see reflection, and if I'm not mistaken, either Aries or Aquarius got this card as well, but they had it like this. So for you, this is more about a clear sky, being more intuitive, being more open. So this is interesting overall, okay? So I'm just going to get into it. So with this, if you guys look at this card, it's very beautiful, right? It says so much. It's such a beautiful card. So this is really all about intuition, okay? The ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view, okay? This is also about receiving some type of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you may get an urge to take a different route home from work and maybe find out later that you have avoided a three-hour traffic jam. You are getting more mysterious as usual. So I'm not surprised, dear love, because... We have Venus going retrograde at the very beginning of October, and Venus is going retrograde in your sign, Scorpio. So, how crazy is that? You are normally the sign that is everything intuitive. If anybody knows how to seek into the depth of an individual or a situation, you know how to get in tune with that because you usually rely on your emotions to guide you but this season spirit is asking you to tap more into your spiritual side that dark side scorpio go deeper dig deeper okay because you are being heavenly guided towards something that is bigger than you and i put together okay so focus on your intuitive energy focus on your guidance your overall guidance any type of epiphanies or ideas and dreams that you may have Pay special attention to those things, okay? Do not be misled by distractions, okay? That is what I wanted to say to you about that. But this can also be an idea. You might be sleeping, having dreams about you owning your own business, or um, you may be thinking about big, long things that you can do as far as, like, um, how to plan a trip for your family. You may just be have, begin to have all these different ideas about investments or um, how to use your spiritual gift to make money or, I mean, just really anything, okay? Um, but either way, you are being blessed with this ability to connect. I mean, even in love, you are being blessed with this ability to reconnect with your divine source, with your spiritual energy, dear love. You are a scorpion, dear love, so you know how to retrieve, how to go forward. You usually rely on your emotions, and some of you that are more spiritually grounded, okay, you do tend to rely on your spirituality as well. However, for the Scorpios that do not dig a little deeper into their spirituality, you need to because that is who you are, Scorpio. You are one of the most intuitive signs and you can literally be in a room and just know what the rip that something isn't right. Or you will know off the back that something is not going to work out. You don't know this person too well. You can't really trust this person. Like you are normally very skeptical by nature. So getting more in touch with your spirituality is like going home for you. Okay, this is reconnecting with your soul, reconnecting with your divine spirit, and allowing spirit to guide you. That is what this overall energy is about. Even in love, you are being guided, okay? 
Now, I want to also talk about this whole love situation because love looked like it is popping up more than once here, okay? I see Temple Pab, so I don't know who's getting married in a church or who is thinking about going back to church or going back to their religious beliefs, but somebody is really strongly considering to focus on some type of spiritual growth, okay? And I also see caring connections here as well. So somebody is falling in love. This could even be unity. This could be reconnection. You and your spouse taking it to a whole nother level, working things out, getting married, getting pregnant, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you guys want to do, you're going to do it, okay? But this is literally about a couple, okay? Or it could just simply be about you caring about your community, about your connection with others. But usually this is about two people in love. Or two people falling in love. This can also represent the beginning of something more deeply or more spiritually deep. Maybe you and your spouse will be able to understand each other on a more spiritual level. Maybe you guys will begin to pray together, fast together, grow together, exercise together. I don't know. I just see you guys teaming up with your spouse and doing something amazing, okay? This could even be about deepening a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of a new love. So for a lot of you, this is a new love. For a lot of you, this is you working out your relationship, okay? So this could be good for my single Scorpios and my Scorpios that are already coupled up, okay? But this can also signify a formal business partnership. That is beautiful. This person is right for the business. They know what they're talking about. They can educate you or help educate you because you already think you know it all. So <laughs> this could be maybe this just them assisting you, okay? Either way, look out for some type of new connection, okay? Presenting themselves or maybe the relationship you already share may become more intimate, more purposeful, or present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand, so pay attention to this individual, okay? This individual is teaching you so much, and you don't even realize that you love them just for that very reason, okay? But like I said, this can also be a business relationship, or maybe you and your spouse would decide to do some type of business together, okay? Now... If you're coupled up, you shouldn't be thinking about this person at work, okay? Or if you are single, I mean, go ahead, go for it. But I will keep business strictly business and love strictly love, okay? Now, when it comes to Temple Path, like I said, this is very spiritual to me as well. It talks a lot about you just reconnecting, you know, or just simply reaching out for some type of spiritual support. Maybe you feel like you need to talk to a pastor. Maybe you you will go to, uh, maybe you feel like you just want to do therapy again, see a spiritual counselor or a spiritual advisor. Um, I just feel like you guys are just kind of, or maybe just simply taking out time to meditate, maybe. Hmm, that card is very beautiful, right? Look at that, it's beautiful. This could even be creating an altar, dear love, in your home. That's what I just heard, altar. So either way, dear love, this is definitely, your overall reading is really symbolizing some type of spiritual growth, a spiritual destiny that you guys are on. You are being more enlightened this season when it comes to your love affairs, your social affairs, how you are with your family, how you are with your spouse, how you are with your soulmate connections, your soul connection, okay? so. Whatever it is, this is telling you that what you are going through right now is all a part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make, the choices that you are making now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. So be very cautious about being overprotective this season or being overly jealous, overly possessive, overly controlling, overly bossy. Be cautious of that, dear love. With Venus going retrograde in your sign, this is really pushing you to 
you may feel a little jealous. <laughs> you may feel a little overprotective, wondering what they're doing, where they're going, who they're talking to. You may be feeling that, but you have to relax. Even in business, dear love, you cannot be so skeptical or jealous or always wanting the spotlight. This is about you being more... Um, um, this is about you probably just respecting authority more than anything, okay? So even though you like to be in charge, even though you like to be the boss in love and in life and in your career choices, right? This is a, teaching you to allow other people to take the role for a while, okay? Either way, this is a wonderful life expanding time, dear love. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Focus on family and freedom and fun, things that you and your spouse can do together. Caring connections, dear love, reconnect. Find out, you know, revisit why you fell in love in the first place, okay? Focus on your children. Take them out to play. Take them somewhere nice. Plan a wonderful trip with your family. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways. And connecting with spirit in your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you are about to experience. Okay? So it is very imperative that you do the right thing, Scorpio. You must follow your heart. You must do the right thing. You must not get sidetracked. You must not allow people to take you away from what you know is right. You must listen to your spirit, dear love. Your spirit is guiding you in such a huge way, and you have to trust in divine guidance, okay? You have to. I mean, it's the only way. You're not going to be successful, always worrying, always complaining, you know, always being distrustful. I mean, look at this. Even in love, you have the trust card, dear love. You have to trust this individual. You have to give them a chance to show you that they're a good person, that they will do right by you. Give them a chance. We know that you've been through some things, Scorpio, but it doesn't give you a right to reach out to your ex. It doesn't give you a right to call your ex or to have sex with your ex, knowing that you're in a space right now and you need to focus. You have to focus. Well, even if you are single, it is still not probably the smartest thing to go back to your ex right now, okay? The thing is to focus on your spiritual path. The more you grow spiritually, the more awakened you will be, the more you will be aware of your decisions and the choices that you make when it comes to love. So you have to be mindful of your spirituality this season, okay? This can even be, you know, for a lot of you, you may be needing to plan a trip, go somewhere nice, go somewhere where there's a lot of water, you know, here in the States especially in the east side, northeast anyway, it's kind of cold for some of us, or well, we'll be getting cold soon, <laughs> you may want to travel more south, you know, um, travel more west, where it's more warmer out, where at night is a nice, cool, smooth breeze, where it's not so cold and miserable for you, okay? You are also more aware of your emotions and more reflective about them. So that is what this also means, okay? You recognize the difference between your intuitive voice and your emotions. You are paying more attention to these things. So overall, like I said, this is good because it's like the more you focus on your spirituality, the more love is coming to you, okay? So let yourself gain even greater clarity and control over your emotions now. I know that you love them, Scorpio, but they're not going anywhere. Don't go ripping their clothes off and, you know, making them feel bad and challenging the way that they feel for you. Don't take their love for granted. Don't think because they love you so much that they ass won't leave you. Don't do it to yourself. This is, would be a, probably a great time. This would be a great time, actually, to probably just sit in meditation to develop your psychic ability, 
to seek out counseling. Like I said, I believe that's why I see, because I'm telling you with, with reflection and religious factors being here with temple path and the goddess of the moon. I mean, man, this is really you choosing your spirituality over your emotions. Okay. Go to counseling, seek counseling if you need to. Healing, focus on healing and any other psychological or spiritual issues that you may be facing. Get into a field dealing with those things. If you are a Scorpio or Scorpio moon or rising sign, this will be perfect timing for you to focus on your spiritual gifts. Any type of psychic development that you need to do. Study how to become a children's counselor or a you know, some type of a therapist, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, this is really, really interesting to me. This is really, really interesting. You have to begin to fill yourself with an emotional peace as calm as still lake. Because right now, you know, yeah. And I think, I think Taurus actually got this. I think that's what this was. I think this was Taurus that actually got this. This was your opposite sign. I think that is who got this. And like I said, it's just interesting how it just changed, how it just flipped all around. It's really interesting to me. Okay? So let's take a deeper look into your reading and see, you know, what's actually going on here. Okay? Let's see what is really, truly going on. Because I do see children here so i'm not sure if pregnancy is on your mind if you're having some difficulties with that i'm not sure if you are just feeling maybe nostalgic about the past maybe you're missing someone maybe you're thinking about your past or how funny it used to be when you was a child look at this look how beautiful this is So there may be something you can do to accelerate your professional life, okay? So when it comes to your career, you may have to make up some make up your mind to make a certain decision about something, whether this is, you know, moving, taking up a new job, looking for a better career. Either way, this is really good. I mean, look at this. When I see, you know, birth here, this can also be the start of a new project, okay? Or nurturing your goals, nurturing yourself. This is a perfect time to, this is a perfect time to maybe take steps towards your personal goals. Perhaps get more exercise, plan more social events, start a fun activity that you've been wanting to start. This may also reflect on what actions or perspective would be best. So again, you know, like I said, with Venus going retrograde in your sign, this is putting a stop on some things. This is, I need to probably get out and have some more fun. You know? And Venus is Taurus, Rulin's planet, and that is your opposite sign. So you are in a good position right now to refocus your energy on something that is deeper than you. Something that is bigger than who you are, okay? And for a lot of you, this is spiritual. This is you starting something that you've never done before. This can also be about relationships, depending on how you look at it. But it came in upright position. So this could be, you know, something reemerging or something getting better. Either way, this is a time for you to do what you got to do. Reconsider what needs to be done and then go for it. Pray about it, talk to somebody about it, seek out a marriage counselor, whatever it is. But you can't give up just that easy, dear love. You and your spouse have work to do. So like I said, for a lot of you, you're going to be traveling, maybe doing marriage counseling or getting married, maybe. For a lot of you, this is reigniting that spark or that chemistry, okay? So once again, love overtakes everything. Even in love, I see heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe by talking to a spiritual counselor, you guys can have that overall energy. You can get the answers that you are seeking. 
for some of you, man, don't be surprised if a trip is on the way. I feel like somebody may try to surprise you, okay? And this could be either a summer trip or a winter trip, okay? Something that you guys do in the winter. Or you and your spouse may be planning something to do either in the summer or the winter, okay? But this is definitely some type of movement. If you look at both of the sides, they both represent some type of movement, okay? There's a lot going on here. <laughs> so something is definitely moving forward, moving on up. How that song go with the Jeffersons? Moving on up to the east side. Yeah, so you guys are moving on up, honey. Okay, moving on up. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, universe. That is a really good way to put it. I love that energy. Yes, yes, yes. You guys are definitely moving on up, okay? Now, one last thing, though. I have to do your overall um, advice as well. Well, I would like to anyway, okay? But before I even get in, let me get the deck ready, okay? So, I mean, like I said, this is either a new birth or a new project. I mean, this woman is happy. There's a puppy there. So, this is definitely either puppy love, new love, a new brewing romance of some kind, or you definitely falling back in love, or you and your spouse celebrating some really, really good news this season. By the third week of October, there will be some good news that come in the mail. Look out for that. For some of you, it may come in the form of an email. For some of you, it may be a word of mouth. So look out for that, okay? Either way, this is a new start, okay? Perhaps this could be an actual birth or at least a metaphorical one, okay? But an old phase is passing away and a new one is beginning. But this new beginning is going to be amazing. I mean, look at the five of forces. How amazing is that, right? So, this is definitely a new beginning, a new start of something, you know, um, this is definitely about going in, going a little deeper, going a little deeper, um, like I said, but this new beginning has a lot to do with your roots, your history, you know, even your past lives, maybe you and your spouse could be past life lovers. And you guys, maybe this could be a karmic relationship where you guys are constantly fighting or disagreeing on certain things. And you guys are so much alike that it's irritating the fuck out of you. And maybe you're just seeking guidance. You're seeking some type of spiritual guidance because you don't understand why you and this person are so much alike that is irking your fucking nerve. Why is like a cat and mouse chase between you two? They chase you, you get stubborn, you don't want to be bothered, you chase them, they do the same thing to you. Like, it's just so damn petty, and it's, <laughs> I feel like for a lot of you, it's starting to be redundant. You're like, look, I just want to get over this already, okay? But this, this could possibly be a past lover, okay? Not necessarily like an ex. When I say past life, I mean someone from, like, your past life, another lifetime, okay? That is here physically with you, in a new body, a new energy, okay? So, yes, this person is definitely someone that you were with in your past life. And that is why you guys are having so many misunderstandings. So, but spiritually, you guys are so much alike. And yet, Scorpio, you are so afraid to just go there. And I don't know why. Because that is your side. That is who you are. You, you are, you know, a spiritual individual. But truth is, a lot of you are just afraid of your own energy. It scares the hell out of you. Now, you know, overall, like I said, you know, whatever this energy is here, this is celebration. This is no longer being too emotional, being guided by my spirituality. I am celebrating love, romance, my new child, my new position in my career. This is us being married, getting engaged, traveling, going somewhere. I see travel possibility here, traveling, visiting family or old friends. I just see you guys traveling, okay? This traveling or wherever you guys are going is going to open up a new spiritual possibility for both of you, okay? Because like I said, this is a past life lover, okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith, dear love. You could be giving birth to a new creative project. Something is here for you to celebrate. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, have fun, honey. I mean, damn, Halloween is right around the corner. Party up, okay? 
throw pumpkins everywhere, have confetti land everywhere, buy a cake, have a good time. And happy birthday, because for a lot of you, it is your birthday. So happy birthday. Okay, I know I'm late. I should have said that in the beginning. Don't judge me. Okay, prepare for the wonderful growth and opportunities that are about to come, dear love. Okay, so let me get this deck ready because time is running out and I need to get this out, okay? So thank you, Scorpio, but I need you to know, dear love, that your love life, uh-oh, wait a minute, your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You may have to come up with your own tradition, Scorpio, come up with your own tradition. Do something that you and your spouse love, something that you both can agree on, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Spirit, for guidance and reassurance. Thank you for showing me Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and Scorpio. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what's going on with you, Scorpio? What is your overall advice? What is your overall concern? Is there anything that you need to know? What is going on? Thank you so much. It may not be necessarily the right time to be impu impulsive or to make any type of drastic decisions, okay? You may want to wait for clarity to come to you. So, again, pay attention to those epiphanies or those ideas. Listen to your heart. Do not just follow through with your emotions. Listen to your spirit, okay? But either way, the universe wants to remind you, dear love, that whatever it is in love or with your spirituality, dear love, you are ready, okay? You're ready. It's happening. Do not be afraid to build your spirituality to the place that it needs to be, okay? So thank you, Scorpio, for your overall energy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, Scorpio, so... I wanted to show you this really quickly. I have some chakra bracelets here. I have created these myself. These are on my website. It's like $10, okay? It's on my website, g1insights.org. Yes, I did make these by myself. They're stretchable. So look, <laughs> they're stretchable. Even the ones on my arms, see? They're stretchable. So you don't have to worry about them popping or anything. They're very easy. And they, I do love my chakra bracelets because it just absorbs all of the negative energy and helps me to just focus on all the positive energy that it remains. Okay? So that is why I wear my chakra bracelets for those of you who don't know. But those of you who do know that have been following me for a while, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, why you don't do the chakra bracelets anymore? And so i just been intrigued and inspired and just wanted to start them back up again. And I'm glad I did because a lot of you are have been so super supportive. So thank you so much for checking out my website. If you do not want a title Archangel reading, that's fine. If you would just want a bracelet and you're like, look, I think the reading fits me. It was good. I don't really need another reading, but I do want a chakra bracelet. You have the opportunity to do that as well. Or if you just simply want to donate, that is fine as well. Okay, so I love you, Scorpio. You have a great week, a great month, fantastic season. Happy Halloween. Happy birthday. Happy new moon. Okay, whatever decisions you want to make, please wait until after the, full, the new moon in Libra and you will be just fine. Okay, love you.